Hello hackers, today I'm going to hack a website and take control over the server, escalate my privileges and become root. And if we render, we get PHP info executed. Voila, we have remote code execution on the server using a unrestricted file upload vulnerability. You know what? I'm just going to use a reverse shell to give me some comfort here. Okay. Now we have a good bash shell. Welcome back to this video. I'm going to continue on the previous challenge and uh, we've left it at getting a shell back using a reverse shell. <clears throat> and today we're going to attempt to escalate our privileges. So in order to do that, first of all, remember we got a shell, we upgraded it using Python. And I'm just going to quickly have have it interactive. So export term. We want it to be x term, and um, let's put it in the background. Just going to run a sty and uh, bring the uh, previous netcat to the foreground. And that way we have nice um, shell without the new lines here, empty new lines. I mean, even with control L, we can clear the screen. So it's really comfortable shell. If you're interested in learning more about these techniques, if you are interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. All right, so now it's time to actually perform some enumeration to become root. So first of all, what are the IP addresses that we have here? We have just two, the local host and the one that we're connected to. Are there any um, listening services? Um, yeah, I need to type here grip listen. So we have the port 8080, which redirected to 80. And then we have the uh, uh, MySQL, which is listening on the localhost only. Can we actually grab those credentials? I guess they should be in the config or classes initialize as we've saw before. Mm, so if I just type head uh, config.php, so it's initializing in the, uh, it's um, loading the initialize.php. So if we just try with that one. We get some variable which are defined here. And one of these are the DB username and DB password. So what we can do is use MySQL with the user uh, gallery user. And with the password, this one this one right here. Uh, actually, so we need dash B and then the password without any spaces. And we can supply also the gallery DB as a database name. And just like that, we have access to the database. So show tables, we have users, which seems promising. So if we describe the users table, we have the type, oh, I'm sorry, we have first name, last name, username, password, we uh, really just care about the uh, username and the password. So select username password from users. And this gives us the admin password. Now, 
can go directly to Google and ask for this password on CrackStation, maybe crackstation.net and paste in our hash and it's not found. Anyways, we already bypassed authentication, but yeah. Okay, um, I don't think we need to do much here in the SQL database. So we just type quit and what are the different processes that are running on this system? So we already some we see some processes running with MySQL, roots, WW data. Um, these are all normal processes. Nothing really interesting here. Okay, what are the home folder directories? So we have Mike and Ubuntu. What do we have in uh, under Mike's directory? We have bash history, but it's not readable. Okay, we have documents, but it's also not readable with by others. We have images and we have user.txt, which we cannot read because we don't have the privileges. So if we try cat user.txt, permission denied. Okay, let's continue. Are there any jobs listing here? Nothing for this user. Um, what else? Let's go to maybe etc. Wonder if there is might be something interesting here. Um, cron, for example, but I don't. Not sure. Maybe opt. So cd opt. Do we have something here? No, nothing. Uh, what do we have under var? Var. Uh, so we have a new folder here. Backups. Um, okay, before going into backups, what do we have under temp? Nothing. The logs contain the logs. Okay, so let's cd into the backups folder. Okay, so this one is promising. Mike home backup. Okay, so let's get into that. Okay, so we have the same home uh, as the one that we saw under home, uh, Mike, but this time we have the uh, permissions to actually read the files. So remember we had documents that were not accessible and also bash history. Um, so if we type bash history, cat, so we have the history of what Mike has typed in the keyboard, so we have home mic user.txt and we have sudo l and mistakenly um, Mike did not hit enter but rather typed the plain text password, his password. So what we can do is just um, su mic. We're going to be asked for the his password. Yes, we have it. And now we are Mike. Great. So um, in the next video, we're going to escalate our privileges from Mike to root. So stay tuned. Um, subscribe to the channel so that you get notified for the upcoming video. Hit the ring bell and see you next time.